Hello, everybody. My name is Eshkar Ben Shitrit, and I would like to welcome you to our first Hikon Live broadcast from Pringraph. With me today, Giuseppe Prioriello, co-founder and owner and one of the managers of Pringraph, the user of the Euclid from Italy. I'm Giuseppe Prioriello, the founder and the CEO of Pringraph. I started in 1994, starting from uh, scratch. We uh, started uh, because my background is uh, in electronics and computer science, and I love graphic design. It was uh, uh, always focusing, always keeping the focusing on uh, making successfully our customer. We uh, created uh, uh, good things for a customer, special uh, uh, finishes, always focusing on innovation and uh, uh, making uh, packaging and uh, uh, all commercial stuff in uh, even uh, making the mostly to give the opportunity to our customers to sell more. That is our focus. For this reason, we, we all, all uh, invested for new things. And uh, the latest investment, it was Hikon technology to not give to us any limitation on die cut. What we will do today is very exciting and I hope very interesting and will be fun. We're going to show you our technology, the Hikon Euclid, this beautiful machine that is right behind me. And we're going to show you how we take the process of loading new jobs, regular finishing jobs, in a matter of minutes, replacing processes that are usually days and hours. The Euclid machine is a, the first of the world's digital cutting and creasing machine. And the process is very similar to what you know today. We have a feeder, we have registration, we have creasing, and we have cutting, and at the end, a stacker. We will show you all the processes, but we would like to highlight first the dart process. What we have here is a dart drum, an upper drum, with a foil mounted on top of it. And on this foil, we will write the creasing rule, replacing the analog technology, replacing the crease in a normal die cutting tool. So what we are doing now is we are preparing the uh, dart foil for writing. This is a quick process that allows the writing to be done on the dart. Actually, here we replace the entire stages from preparing the file until we're on the machine. So imagine sending it out to the provider of die cutting tool, having them prepare it, all the different processes, then shipping back to you, then having you use it and putting it on the machine and doing the preparation and started running. And then you need to store it, you need to keep it somewhere. So the entire process that is very, very different from all the digital possibilities we have in our world today is done in a completely digital way using the latest technology that exists. So when we will finish writing the job, what we are doing now is a job of 12 apps. So it's a typical packaging job with a lot of apps with a lot of creasing line. When we will finish writing the creasing line, we will have the job ready to go and we will start running it. So imagine this is the process. The dart foil is, is disposable. We only use it once. But at the end of the process, we have the entire creasing already done and prepared. And we are ready to start running the job, running the packages, and cut and crease it. Writing is completed. And the last stage is curing the rules. Actually, what happens now is that the polymer turns into something that is more tacky. Into, into a solid, uh, sturdy rule that can actually give the impression and give the creasing on the substrate. This process is the last process in the entire preparation of the job on a Euclid machine. After this, we can start going directly into production and using the laser cutting. And what we're actually doing, going to show you is the flexibility of this machine. So we are prepared a creasing rule, but we want to show you that you can make changes on the fly. So a lot of the advantages of having a digital solution for the finishing side is that even if when you have a job, that this job is on the machine and you want to make some correction, some adjustment, also some decoration, you can do it on the fly. You can do it when the customer is present. You can do it when the customer is sending you an email, a new job, or you can even use it in solution that you get the files directly from the customers via your uh, web system. We have the feeder. The feeder takes each sheet into the process. The size, the maximum size of the substrate we can use in the feeder 
is 1060 millimeter by 760. Each sheet go into the dart station and is being creased. The crease process is done by applying the impression between the upper drum with the rules to the bottom drum, which is which a special uh, counter that is designed to create a full creasing, to create a high quality creasing in a digital way. As you see the sheets passing in the machine, they are still registered. After being creased, they are receiving a laser cutting. And the laser cutting is done by three laser systems, by three lasers that each looks or sees a different part of the sheet, allowing for very fast laser cutting, but also etching and scoring and decoration. So after this process, the box is done. You can go directly Top. into folding gluing. You can go directly into having a product is made. So actually what we did now is load a new job. We just changed the cutting. We added some kind of decoration to the cutting. And now we are running the same job with more cutting. Just taking a simple box, this is a regular box, using the abilities of the laser to add an interesting cutout. And we actually have here the same jobs with a new cutout that we added. In less than one minute, in die cutting terms, it's a new job. Yeah. For us, it's decoration. So now, cutting and creasing becomes much more than just a functional process. We are doing a live demo. <laughs> but this is only one direction, right? So we wanted to show you that it's really live. And we asked the three locations, uh, Frankfurt, Milan, and Utrecht. Utrecht, I checked his alertness. <laughs> so we asked them to each send a word. And when they started, less than one hour ago, they yeah. each sent us the word. And we wanted to show you how easy is the process of really getting from you, from the customer, a new job and adding it. Now we're going to show you how we use it just for decoration with etching. And Nuncio has another job, a job that just includes on the same job the words that you sent us today. So again, like loading a new job, Nuncio has a file, a regular DXF file, that includes another element. So we have creasing, we have cutting, and we have etching. And now we will, have, we will ask our audience to take a guess. We have three words from three countries. And you need to try to guess which is the country that shows which of the words. But our first word is Lingard. Lingard. The second word is Hamburg. And the third word is Lisa. So, Hamburg. Which is the city that shows Hamburg? It's easy, Frankfurt. <laughs> Lingard? I, I think Utrecht. <laughs> Lingard is from the Netherlands, from Utrecht. And the most original one, Lisa, Italian. from <laughs> Italian. And actually, this is just a demonstration. But imagine using finishing, using die cutting, using etching and, or scoring as a way of personalization. Okay, great. Giuseppe, I think this was a very interesting evening because we got to see the machine running, mm. we got to see different jobs, and we got to hear from you. And I want to thank you first for hosting us and hosting all these people, and more than that, uh, for your openness, because sometimes it's not uh, very common to have this sharing uh, yes. element. And I think it's amazing, and it shows the perspective that you take about this business and the industry, and most of all, vision. And I wanted to thank you very much. And Thanks I'm sure you. that all the people that met you now are s sharing your passion and sa sharing your excitement with this technology as we share this excitement and also about your business. Thank you. So thank it's you very great. Much. And <laughs> thank you to everybody. Thank you very much.